Hello everybody! Did you know that you can uh, produce your own electricity at home? All you need is yourself and uh, a fleece. It just happens that I'm already wearing a fleece right now. So uh, to generate electricity you just uh, take the fleece off and by doing that uh, you recharge yourself with uh, uh, static electricity and uh, so I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna transfer the electricity onto my uh, steel bed frame and uh, yeah see if I can get a spark out of it okay so uh, I'm pulling off my fleece and uh, suppose I'm recharging myself I'm gonna touch the steel bed frame and yeah, there it was, it was definitely a very strong spark. I'm not sure it, it was actually visible flash, but yeah, I'll, I'll see it afterwards in the recording the, of the other camera. But yeah, I'm gonna put, put the uh, police back on. And uh, yeah, the good news about this is you can uh, just, it's a renewable uh, energy source. You can just keep putting the fleece on yourself and uh, take it off. I'll do it again. Take it off and I'm gonna touch it again there. Ooh. Okay, this time it was really, really strong. Uh, really strong. A uh, very strong uh, transfer. It was like I could actually feel my finger being hit really hard. It was a really weird feeling. So I'm gonna try it again and uh, see if I can get even bigger spark. I don't really know what the secret is for getting bigger spark if I have to if I have to wear the fleece for longer or if I have to take off quicker. I I'm not uh, not figured that out yet, but yeah let's see what happens this time. Okay, uh, this time it was a little bit uh, less, but yeah, so I'm gonna now check how much, how many volts I'm actually generating by doing this, and to check that I'm gonna use my uh, electricity multimeter which I've got here, and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use uh, this, uh, this is the electricity coming out of the socket, and it should be around 240 volts and let's see okay yeah there it is 238 which is um, which is uh, yeah which is normal for the UK uh, power supply from the from the wall and so now I'm gonna use this uh, same multimeter at the same setting to see how many volts I can get out uh, out of uh, my fleece when I take it off. So I'm gonna take it off again and I'm gonna touch one uh, one of these wires with my hand, other one I'm gonna touch to the bed. Oh! oh. I actually felt I, I actually felt the electricity going through and you probably noticed it went all the way up to 184 volts which is nearly nearly the amount uh, that's coming out of the wall okay let's see what I can get this time I'm gonna try it again okay, okay just uh, just for a split second it went uh, all the way up to over 1000 and I know it sounds very um, unbelievable, but but it's true actually because I'm using the multimeter on the same setting, and uh, the reason it's not uh, uh, hurting me too bad is because it's like really for a split second it's a lot less than one second this voltage is going through, so that's why it's not uh, hurting me. And yeah, let's see what I can get it this time. And, ooh! Yeah, it was again uh, over 1000 and then 500. 
So basically, uh, yeah, I know for sh for a fact that I can generate electricity now. I just need to uh, figure out how to how to uh, ac accumulate it so I can actually use it to boil water or to um, to burn a light bulb. But I'm gonna stop doing it right now because I in just in case the uh, the bed frame is uh, saving this uh, electricity. I might get shocked once I eventually go to sleep. So I'm gonna stop that now and see if there is a way to release that electricity from my bed. Because I don't want to get shocked. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.